Item number, SCP-652. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-652 is to be kept in standard domestic animal facilities. The room requires basic furnishings for SCP-652 and its handler. Bedding, food, water, and so on. SCP-652 and its handler are permitted to roam the facility grounds at will. Personnel who come in contact with SCP-652 are not permitted to wear heavy boots. SCP-652 is badly frightened by such boots and by anyone wearing them. For the same reason, personnel who come in contact with SCP-652 are not permitted to grow beards. SCP-652's vocalizations are to be recorded and preserved for analysis. Special note is to be taken of any mentions of the phrases ash cloud, hurricane, and or radiation. Description SCP-652 presents as a neutered male dog of the Basset Hound breed. Bone growth analysis indicates that subject is approximately three years old. Subject appears to be physically normal, beyond four significant abnormalities. Subject has a tattoo on its belly in the shape of the Marshall, Carter, and Dark logo. The tattoo was likely applied in the dog's infancy. X-rays of the subject reveal several poorly healed skull fractures and broken ribs, suggesting extreme physical abuse. Subject's jaw muscles are well developed, above that of a normal dog of this breed. However, bite force is in line with what is to be expected of a dog this size. This abnormality is likely to be a direct result of Abnormality 4, below. Subject's larynx is grossly distorted. X-ray examination shows significant diversion from expected size and shape. It is unclear whether this is the result of genetic engineering or of surgery. This distortion is believed to be linked to its behavioral anomaly. SCP-652's behavioral anomaly is its ability to produce human speech instead of barking or other standard canine vocalizations. Subject constantly gibbers phrases in at least 34 human languages. Although five of the languages have not been identified yet, analysis of the other 29 languages indicates that SCP-652 is constantly making meteorological predictions for various locations worldwide. These predictions have been found to be 100% accurate for those locations which have been able to be identified. The predictions have no obvious connection with any external stimuli. While it can be assumed that SCP-652 is aware of its own behavior, it does not appear to be under the subject's control. Quality and clarity of vocalization is dependent on SCP-652's physical condition. Speech is muted and mumbled while the subject is sleeping, garbled while the subject is eating or drinking, and agitated and staccato when the subject is excited or afraid. Subject's voice is low in pitch and has a rather limited vocal range. Staff consistently refer to it as unsettling. While SCP-652's unusual larynx is the most obvious link to the subject's constant vocal activity, a basic knowledge of speech production tells us that simply changing an animal's larynx will not necessarily allow it to make sounds similar to human speech. Indeed, comparative biology reveals that human and canid larynx structures are actually quite similar. SCP-652's larynx, on the other hand, appears to have no correlation to either. History SCP-652 was recovered during a raid on a Marshall Carter and Dark office in... It was found in a shipping crate bearing the indications of having been recently delivered by the National Postal Service with an invalid return address. At the time of the raid, a Marshall Carter and Dark operative was in the process of composing a letter regarding SCP-652. The operative died while resisting capture, and the letter was retrieved from her typewriter. Document 652G List of identified languages spoken by SCP-652 Albanian, Armenian, Basque, Bulgarian, Danish, Dutch, English, Estonian, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hausa, Hungarian, 
Icelandic, Italian, Japanese, Canada, Khmer, Lithuanian, Malagasy, Polish, Russian, Romanian, Spanish, Swahili, Tagalog, Urdu, Vietnamese. Document 652N41. Incomplete letter from Marshall Carter and Dark Operative to regarding SCP-652. Dear Colonel, I regret that you were unsatisfied with your purchase. However, it is scarcely our fault that you misinterpreted the catalog description of the item. That said, I must remind you once again that all sales are final. We provide our clients with unique and unparalleled experiences. We do not provide refunds, regardless of whether or not you return your purchase. One would hope that you would have learned this by now. Because we value your business, and because we regret the unfortunate incident subsequent to your last year's purchase of Data Expunged, I have been authorized to repurchase the item from you. We will pay you in cash, or offer you twice that amount as credit on your next purchase. Although this is less than 10% of your original purchase price, the end of document. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-651, Tissue Fusing Virus, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.